Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we will be talking about the book Failure is Not an Option by Gene Kranz. Similarly to last week's book, this is also about a nonfiction about the space program in the US. Uh, there's actually some overlap with the Apollo 8 mission being covered in this book as well as the focus of the first one. Uh, the author of this book, Gene Kranz, was one of the very first flight directors at NASA, going back to the first uh, rocket missions from NASA. So in this book it covers mainly his experience at NASA, although it was largely integrated with NASA as a whole. Uh, it was interesting getting to hear about the perspective from er the Earth side of these missions as opposed to in the last book when it was mainly focused on the crew and their perspective. Uh, at the start of the book, he, meant, he talks about how he got the job, or how he got the job at NASA, and how in the early days no one knew really what to do because no one had done it before. So they had to come up with all sorts of new procedures and techniques to actually perform these tasks. Uh, moving forward from that, they talked about the Mercury and Gemini programs, which were the first ones that they launched. Uh, and how they then took what they learned there to move forward into Apollo. It was pretty interesting. I wouldn't say it was I was as interested in it as the last book I read because they didn't go as much into the fine details, which I mean it was a m much longer audiobook, but I I just would have liked more like small details about about the stuff going on uh, like I think it really did not help coming right off of the uh, the last book and how I you know got an entire book's worth of information about just one flight mission and then having to cover a, a large number in you know just one book it really didn't help but it was the information was well i'd say the book was still good and enjoyable it just could have been more uh, uh i guess something i didn't talk about a ton in like last book but you know applies the same to both like, these people were not the nicest people, like, I don't know, just like how they ended up treating their, like, wives and family, it's like, I don't know, it wasn't, definitely was not the most supportive environment. Uh, I, I forgot to mention it, but uh, in the last book there was this whole section of the book dedicated to Essentially, one of the astronauts learning their wife had feelings. I don't know. It was just weird. Like, yeah. Uh, in this book, it was shown in how, like, it was shown in how they constantly had to be, like, away from home on work because uh, they were based out of Houston, but for the early flight missions, they couldn't control it remotely, so they all had to go down to Florida to then control the mission from there. And like, they would just spend like weeks on end there, like, and like going back and forth, barely spending any time with their family. Yeah, it was, yeah. Overall, I'd say it was an interesting book. And for that reason, I'm giving this four stars out of five. Uh, for our next book, I do not know exactly because I don't have one available at the moment, but I'm thinking it will be a continuation from a series that I've already read so far. So get excited for that one. Thanks. Let's check out the kitties. Hello.
Hello.